Mr. Courteous. I've always been a ladies' man, even as a kid. My mom used to joke that I started breaking hearts back in grammar school. It took years for a woman to capture my attention, let alone my heart. Juggling women felt like second job for me, that is, until I met Sherry. Sherry was different. She was smart, beautiful, and had her life together. We worked at the same place, so I had to be subtle. I had offer coffee or snacks to anyone in the office just so I wouldn't be obvious. I had a crush on her, but in reality, she was the only one I cared about. Valentine's Day came around and I decided it was the perfect moment to take my move, make my move. A bunch of us were on our lunch break, so I brought roses for all the women in the room. But when I got to Sherry, I did something special. I not only handed her a rose, I asked her out. And she said yes for the first time in my life. I was genuinely excited about a date. Date after date, we had so much fun together. It got to the point where it was hard to be apart from her. She tried to keep our relationship on the down low at work, but that didn't stop problems from creeping up. One time, I offered a female co-worker a ride home, just being nice, but it made Sherry jealous, and we had our first real argument. I apologized and promised her it would never happen again. The next day at work, I couldn't keep my eyes off her. After we clocked out, I surprised her with an expensive purse, flowers, and an engagement ring. When she said yes, we were both over the moon. We set the wedding date for the following year, and we were finally ready to share the news with our colleagues. But before we could make the announcement, Something terrible happened. Sherry and I were, were in the break room, still in a quick kiss, when suddenly I felt a sharp pain in my back. I was in the break room. Wow, just still in a kiss, but I felt that pain, that pain in my back. I fell to the ground, the pain repeating over and over. I looked up and saw her, the same co-worker I had given a ride home. She was staring standing over me, stabbing me again and again. I tried to stop her, tried to ask her why, but the pain was too intense. Everything went dark. Just like that, I couldn't feel or hear anything anymore. Damn, damn, damn! Never play with someone's heart.